days. Cry for me. I want some toxic love. Cry Man, for what? me. <laughs> cry for you. <laughs> yes, cry for me. I want to be. I want you to be Jodeci. Cry toxic. for me. I'm looking for toxic love, man. Are you? You in 2023, you want toxic why, why love? Why not, man? Bring back toxic love, Well, man. why does it have to be toxic? Why can't you not just say, this is what I want, and I want no strings attached? Because, as, I, <laughs> as I've been told, that's not going to happen. It's a dream. That's not true. Who told you that lie? It's my co-host, Slim. Slim, I'm sorry, boo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm taking your spot this week, but oh, that God. is completely wrong. No, you. you she, kinda, she said it, but she kind of didn't say it like that, but that's how I interpreted it. Because, oh, shit, we back. Yes. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, <laughs> man. Yo, welcome back to Bad Therapy with the Bad Therapist. I'm your host, Hustle Porter, a.k.a. Problematic Donnell, soon to be known as just Hustle P. I, I want toxic love, but I don't want to be problematic no more. Okay. Can that can coexist? No. Yes, it can. You think so? You don't think so? love, but you don't want to be problematic. Is it toxic, problematic? It might be the new name, Toxic P. And that voice you hear is not Slim's voice today. Slim's on a self-care day. Hey, boo. So I got my auntie in here. (laughs) I'm Auntie Grace. My my adopted auntie, Auntie Grace. We talked about why you call me auntie. Because I feel like she's one of my... um, (laughs) Daddy's daddy's um, illegitimate <laughs> children that I never met. I could, I could be with your daddy in real life. <laughs> but you won't call me auntie, mommy. Call me well, mommy. You know, you know Mom. I just got to add something to it. Got to add a little black spice to it. I got up, you guys. I got, that's a daddy's daddy's. How old is your daddy? My dad, like 50. He be oh, 59 that's, this year. Oh, that's a good age. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm married, though, but, yeah. you, know, you know, if I was not... Daddy would be a perfect age. <laughs> call me mom. Yeah, I'm not calling you mom, God damn it. Fuck that. You just gonna call me auntie mom. Call you auntie, auntie mom. <laughs> auntie mom. What's up, you guys? I am Grace. What's going on? I'm taking Slim spot for the for the week. Just for the week, though. Yeah. She's Slim. irreplaceable. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's how she feels. She thinks she's Beyonce, bro. She is. She thinks she's Beyonce. Kelly? Just... Rowan, maybe? I miss Slim. I do. <laughs> we miss you, Slim. That's all I'm giving her today, though. That's it, though. But look, we got the vibes. You know what? What's up? You just a good vibe. Thank you. I appreciate that. You as well. Thank In you. your cream. You see, you know you feeling yourself. You know what I'm you trying to be like Beyonce, feeling yourself. <laughs> I am the Beyonce the podcast. Is it Tulum's or is it Tulunes? So he said it's too long, too long s because like two lines and the s make a dollar sign. So like too long s. I'm simple. But it's, that's part of the catch to get you to buy the clothes because you don't know what the fuck it is, but you like it. They don't close, though. Yeah. So, I like them. You know, we support the black owned. Yeah. I need some old Tulones, Tulunez. Me too. So, whatever you call it, I want it because <laughs> I'm buying it. But, yeah, man, but yeah, you. you Happy know. New Year. I Happy haven't New seen Year. you since 2022. You haven't? I have not. What you have? Are you lying for the pod? That's not for the pod. You haven't seen no, me. You seen me at the, the photo shoot with my little cousin. Oh, I did. But yeah. That's the first time. I didn't say Happy New Year though. You then? Yeah, Happy New Year. I needed that back. So yes. yeah, so Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. How your New Year been going so far? So far, so great. It's been a great New Year because I'm really manifesting things that I want. I know people say this all the time, but I am consistently manifesting the things that I want in my mm. life this year. What about you? Um, this year started out kind of rocky. Okay. But not nothing really crazy for real, for real. Just some, some little bullshit. But I am back right now. My goals. Okay. I knocked off a lot of stuff last year. Stuff like two things. Okay. So I feel like right now my goals will keep me more productive. Maybe it's like a, a sort of accountability because I can see it. Yeah. Recycle those goals though, because people think that because the year passes by, that they have to complete those goals. But a year maybe not be. The right amount of time for your goals to manifest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, I think that you should be consistent with your goals and not just, you know, um, take them off the list because they didn't happen the year prior. Yeah. So I was going to take the ones I didn't do. Mm-hmm. I put them on a goals list. Okay. And do it like, so like, yeah, you missed out on that last, like you said. But it's still a goal. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, but I be making these big ass goals because it make me want to go super hard. Like my goal That's this year, I want to make a million dollars. Okay, so make that a long-term goal. I want to make me that by June. 
Uh, I mean, it, it, you know, in what, this what, microwave what, world, it could happen. Well, Glow Glo- 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 said, fuck, I might be rich tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, Glow, shit, I might just be rich tomorrow. It won't take one That's click. Shit, fuck a credit card. I might click. just be rich tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Tomorrow. But yeah, do some church announcements first. Um, <laughs> yes, people, I do have the YouTube page up and thriving. I need y'all to go subscribe to Bad Therapy with the yes. Bad Therapist. Like, YouTube, subscribe. Like, share. Mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. that. Uh, what else they say on podcasts? Oh, yeah. Go to Apple. Leave a comment. Rating. Tell me how great you love this show. Tell me how bad you hate this show, and I'm going to block your ass. <laughs> I'm going to report your shit, and I'm going to find your IP address, and we're going to goddamn swat your motherfucking house. For people don't know what swatting is, <laughs> it's going to get on call. <laughs> I'm going to act like you got some illegal drugs in your home. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to have them pull up to your crib. You on that white boy stuff. All day, every day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but real talk, please subscribe, share, tell your auntie, get your auntie phone and make a subscribe to my YouTube page. Then get your other auntie phone and make a subscribe and make her right. Then get your uncle phone and do the same thing. Because they don't know how to do and it. And then why are you going to your girl phone, my boy? Go subscribe to my page through your girl phone after you catch her cheating. You go to phone? <laughs> Not me. I don't. Okay. I, I, I got enough hard breaking this world. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to kill myself off. <laughs> By going through a fire? Yeah, I'm not trying to, nigga, no. I'm not finna <laughs> finish myself off. More pain? Nah, man. Oh, I'm going to have Let's to ask you about that pain. later. But more finish pain. your church more announcements. Pain. I definitely want to know about going through phones. <sighs> I've never been through it. So you got some church announcements you want to do? I have um, no church am- uh, announcement. <laughs> um, follow Will and Grace Media. Dope. For all your uh, photography and videography needs. Yes. Oh, dope, dope work. For sure. I love their work. Yes, thank you. Amazing. It's amazing. Thank amazing. you. I appreciate you You know guys. why it's amazing? Because it's a content factory production. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Come here, guys. Yes. Your podcast sound kind of cloudy. Da-da-da-da. Too much hookah smoke in your podcast cameras. <laughs> Not the right camera angle. Not the right camera shit. angle, oh, man. Shit. Foggy shit. You know what I'm saying? You can hear everybody outside the goddamn... <laughs> place talking that's you no know, that's not in the room you know what i'm saying yeah come to content fast we don't have those problems we got yeah. lights we got moms we got cameras you got, got me rock screaming in the background yeah Yo, you don't gotta deal with that shit the content no we factory. don't we don't we don't need that lord but, bless that baby lord jesus christ if she pregnant bless that baby let's <clears throat> please as a community Mo- bless Mo- that baby pray for blue face <laughs> he said he not the daddy Pray for that nigga. <laughs> Who else? Can't nobody else be the daddy but that nigga. Right. They got the craziest relationship. You know, I try not to pay attention, but it's so it's, it's so hard not to because it's like really in your face. And honestly, it, it really is sad to see because it's like what what is the point of that dynamic? Like what is the point of that relationship? Money. That's how they keep because Blueface songs ain't songing no more. He not getting no raps. <laughs> His songs ain't songing. Raps is trash. But the other shit he got going on with him and her, yeah, it's keeping them getting booked for shit. They getting paid for podcast interviews, YouTube clicks, all kind of bullshit. Wasn't so, he arrested for some kind of attempted murder or something? I guess. Like, he, what happened to that? It's just that swept on the road. So I, I mean, I I don't know. I just can't keep up. They got a lot going on. It's with a them lot. Too. I just seen a video with him like actually putting hands and feet to her on Twitter. What say what now? He was like. Boom, boom. Oh, All to that. her. Yeah. I think she likes that. As sad as it is, I really think that 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 toxic um, relationship, I don't even know what to call it, but it's... Fuck to call that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to call it, but I really think that she dri- she thrives off of that. And in a, in a way, he does too. And he's just like, it, it keeps... Can you name a Blueface song? Oh, yeah, um... Bust down Tatiana. Oh, okay. Besides uh, that, uh, Tatiana. Uh, okay. Um, I know the cadence. <laughs> Blue face, baby. Yeah, I. Right. That's all I know. That's all I right. know. So, That's like, what's keeping him relevant besides this? this Each this other, conflict? them. Those yeah. the dumb besides shit. Besides this conflict between them two. Speaking about media, been a wild two days in media. Pee on me. <sighs> oh, young dun, dun, Miami. Dun. Okay. So, I was having a conversation with my homeboy the other day. Well, it wasn't the other day because it was yesterday. Okay. Um, <laughs> P. Diddy <laughs> with the two E's. The um, I, he was like, bro, would you pee on a woman that you are having sex while dealing with? Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, that's disgusting. You said that. 
Yeah, that's but I would probably consider doing it. Like, you know, cause my thing is how many chances you gonna get to actually pee on somebody? I mean, it's fucked up, but like if that's is a, it? If, if that's a turn on, then I, I, it's my duty to So why is it fucked up if it's a turn on? If it's like your sexual preference or if it's something that you want to explore sexually, why is it fucked up? It's a it's a great singer that's behind bars. They just do that. Uh, well, and, to know. underage children, <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Not yeah, to a yeah, consensual true. adult. That's the only one we seen know? on. Well, we didn't see. I didn't see shit. I um, never saw it. Honestly, okay, technically, I saw I it. I never saw it. I was a minor when yeah. that happened, so I could watch it. So I'm not. I wasn't. In I trouble. never saw it. Honestly, but, and I oh, never went to go look for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so technically, yeah. but just because he did it to that person, doesn't mean he didn't pee on adults. Okay. So, but why would I feel like that's um what that's uh, like be disgusting or what was it or uh, like putting her down? Yeah, because it's, you're peeing on somebody. But if you're consensual and you say, "Hey, I like this," if I if well, if my husband <laughs> asks me, "Hey, do you mind?" And I, honestly, he's done it to me before in the shower, and that's different. But that's honestly, different. I think that's where it really kind of goes. It's like nah. you're not going to be doing it in the bed because who's cleaning that shit up? Do it in the shower. Do it in like a, a an aqua atmosphere. Wow. You know what I'm Rain saying? On yeah. me, man, <laughs> I don't mind. Be doing it in the trenches. She doing it on the bed. I don't know what she. But my thing is this. Hey, man. Do it, whatever floats your boat. Do what you got to do. But you know what I'm saying. But if I was ever presented the chance to do it, I am definitely going to do it. Even I probably won't take it serious no more. Not in the you face, know, though. They say squirt is pee, so if that's what you got to do. But well, not every I have, woman I have squirts, got though. squirted on before, though. But not I every woman like squirts. No, not every woman squirts. And, and it, I've every heard it's can. a mixture between, like, urine and vaginal fluid. Yeah. So that's fine, but it's like. I hated that shit when I got squirted on. Why? Because it caused by surprise. I thought men, uh, well. Like, she didn't want me. <laughs> I'm a fucking drunk. You're not supposed to be like, oh, I'm about to I'll, squirt. I'll, like nobody's gonna warn I'll, you before they squirt. I was face down in some, <laughs> some <laughs> Virginian. <laughs> and um, I would have thought like a man would love that. Like, I, I mean, more it was fluid, cool. It was more fluid. It was cool, but I, let me know. Nobody is gonna let you know. That shit was mad disrespectful. That's not the same as saying I'm about to come. It's not. It's basically the same thing. No, it's not. Anyway, shout out to you, Miss Lady, for doing that. You opened my eyes to a whole new, different type of lifestyle. Now, golden showers. You've never had, ha, but have you had a golden shower? Does that shower? count as a golden shower, though? Like That's what a golden on? shower is. Uh, well, squirting, no. Squirting is just squirting, but I have you had been. a golden shower? No, I never did. I never had one because uh, I never, never gave, gave one. Never and received? No, I oh, haven't. Oh, okay. Nobody asked. That's so inconsiderate. <laughs> <laughs> So can I pee on you, sir? <laughs> Do you mind if I pee on you? No, no. Can I? No, they ask me, can I pee on you, Miss Lady? Like, yeah, I pee on you, lady. You know, what I'm saying? I got you. Can they pee on you? No, no. So <laughs> it's a one way street with this. No, one. where's the discrepancy? Oh <laughs> no! You see, I couldn't let that slide because women talk, and they be like, "Girl, he has some good dick." Guess what? I peed on that nigga. Y'all niggas don't talk. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna tell somebody. Oh, okay. I'm definitely so not peeing somebody, but it's different because women be like, "That's that nigga I peed on." Like y'all throw a shit nigga face when y'all be, y'all be mad. With the wrong kind of when y'all be mad, y'all be throwing about the bullshit, the shit you supposed to keep in the house. They bring that shit to the light. Well, you dealing with the wrong women because that's the story of my life. <laughs> Only did one, maybe two good girls that you made sense if we're gonna throw something in your face it's gonna be between you and I it's only gonna be in the house we're not gonna take that outside with our girlfriends and tell you guys oh shit you're you gonna guys. tell your best a friend I'm that. not I'm never you a, you a I different never. type I mean I'm cause I you know what the thing is, I never want to um, put my husband in a bad light. And it's not that he's a bad person. We all have, like, things that we go through and we mm -hmm. do that we may regret to one another. But to say, like, to degrade him in a way like that, like, and it's not even degrading because if that's what we're into sexually and if I want to piss on him, then <laughs> then I just piss on him. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, that nigga let me pee on his back. <laughs> And it was nice and warm. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not going to tell my friends that in a way that's, like, degrading to him. No, like, 
whatever we do sexually. If I, especially I got to know my friends too. Like if yeah. I know that's not something that they want to hear or that's something that they're into, I'm not going to say like, yeah, we were, you know, participating in golden showers. I'm like, yeah, you know, golden shower is crazy. Bro. It's golden. It's, well, see, as, then my pee bad too. So if you let I'm me, I'm about pee, to say mine you, is not. If you let me pee on you, you got to go straight to the emergency room. It's <laughs> this shit straight Don Julio and Casamigos, bro. That shit, that shit got. I got a little water now. I drink like two bottles of water, but the rest of that shit tequila. No, my, I'm saying? my diet consists of water and whiskey. See, <laughs> so but it's it's clear, like it doesn't. Now, like I only drink she water. She got goddamn what does she call uh, alkaline piss? I do. I have alkaline pee. <laughs> My pee is very good for you. <laughs> so if you want me to bottle it up and send it to you, it's nineteen ninety nine plus tax. Damn, you can sell that. Somebody will buy that. I know. Somebody in this world will buy some piss off of OnlyFans or Amazon. Hey, I need to set that up. Hey, Might man. be a new genre. There's got all the plans. There's no every guy. Dad sent me up a website. Let me. There's got me. got a label made right now. <laughs> Organic piss. piss. <laughs> Organic. <laughs> Organic straight out of goddamn. Man, I'm on New Orleans. <laughs> new Orleans flavor. Straight up Creole P. Buku P. <laughs> Buku P. That's what it's gonna be called. <laughs> For the all that don't know, Grace is from the, the <laughs> former murder capital of <laughs> from the <boot. laughs> New Orleans. New Orleans. She really from Slidell, though. I am definitely not from Slidell. I'm from Algiers, Louisiana. <laughs> One point five was damn. That sounds real dangerous over there. New you Orleans. Really, I love New Orleans though. I love New Orleans too, but it is a dangerous place, and I um I just really wish my city would get it together because I I know a lot of people who I've grown up with. Who have lost children, who have lost loved ones, and it's it is so sad because like being the same age as some of these people and yeah. seeing these people and knowing them personally, it's sad. It really is. And but I love my city. Like it's there's no other place like it. But it's there's definitely no, it's other, place no like other place like New Orleans. That yeah. that's a different world. It's a different. That's world. why I fuck with it. I right. fuck. I, I have you been to Mardi Gras? You know, yeah, I went down, coming up. I went. I went to one. I went to Mobile and New Orleans the same day. Did you? Yeah. I think we did too. Um, it was a few years back. I think it was right before COVID. Like actually, twenty twenty is when we went to um, New Orleans Mardi Gras, and then we drove to Mobile because we were supposed to go to um, one of Rock's um, um, poor Mobile thing. Yeah, masquerade thing. But it was mm. like. It didn't happen like he wanted it to yeah. happen that year. So we actually, well, I said we, but my husband actually drew, drove back. And I really think he had COVID that time Dang. because he was sick. He was super sick. That's everything everything oh, yeah. that he was taking that. was just not working. And I was just like, I don't know what's wrong with you, but we was out there partying. We was having a good time. <laughs> that way they should, yeah, the, but the COVID came from there. The COVID, the COVID <laughs> probably came from there, just like everything else. But um, yeah, we had a good time in New Orleans. But you've been to New Orleans, Mardi Gras? Yeah, I went to both of them. I went to New Orleans and I went to Mobile the same day, mm-hmm. and I had a blast. Cause I got to see the New Orleans part with the big parade part, yeah. and then I got to go to like the hood part of Mobile. But I didn't get to go to the, I didn't get to do the whole thing because. I had to catch that last, like the, maybe the last two days or whatever. Yeah. What I don't know. I just went there. I didn't get to see the, I didn't do the Fat Tuesday. I ain't, haven't never been to Fat Tuesday. I haven't went to no balls, yeah. nothing like that. But I have been down the street when they throwing the bees out, um, the big floats and shit. That shit was crazy. Man. I had never seen nothing like that in my life. See, I've never been to uh, Mobile Mardi Gras. And I actually do want to go to Mobile Mardi Gras because I've never experienced it. I've experienced um, Mardi Gras New Orleans like at nauseum, my mother in law is in all the parades. She's in Zulu. We did Zulu ball. It was good. It was. A, it's a good time, but that shit is expensive. It's it's pricey, and it's you know can, it's not for I the faint of heart. So, New Orleans, man. So, yeah. who, who the first knucklehead that broke your heart down in in the you NO? Know? Oh, his name was Leslie Williams. Leslie Williams. Yes. So you were destined to be a Williams. I was, you know, you, it's so crazy because he was like a elementary school sweetheart. And I always said, I was like, I'm going to be a Mrs. Williams one day. <laughs> hey. I thought it was going to be him, <laughs> but it wasn't him. But I am a Mrs. Williams. But yeah, his name, I don't even know what he's doing now. I don't, I don't even know what he would look like. I was like nine. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to you, Leslie. How, how did you, um, let's see. So when was like your first real heartbreak, like? 
Oh, my son's dad. Because mm. I got pregnant. So, you know, when you think that you're going to be with somebody and it's like, oh, no, this is not it. This is, was a, mm. yeah, it was a like a, I mean, we, we had a good relationship, but it, in hindsight, looking at it now, it's like we weren't meant to be together. Yeah. We, I mean, we were just two kids. Oops. And. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. So how did it stop you from like, because I don't ever feel like you ever been a toxic person. So no. like, I feel like after <laughs> I got my heart broke, it was like, I'm straight. You're going to treat game. everybody. That's how I was. Terrible. I got my heart broke twice. Once in the middle school and then in college. And they've been hell. Okay. So how old are you now? I'm approaching the uh, the young tender <laughs> age of 35. Okay. Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. 35. That is a beautiful man. age. I feel like I'm just... I'm, it does feel good. Like, I feel different now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your 30s like, will make you do that, though. You know? But so, you know, that was like my last relationship. It kind of fucked me up a little bit because we tried to make it work. Yeah. How long ago was that? Oh, it's been, I've been broke up now for three years now. Two and a <sighs> okay, half. Okay, so men, oh, man, mm-hmm. men so different. Like, we, we both were like, <laughs> okay, so... Three years and you've not gotten into a serious relationship. So. I ain't fucking with that shit no more, man. Because you <laughs> are hurt. Like, men's ego is, like, so crazy. Like, why can't you guys not understand that life is about ups and downs, like, ebbs and flows? Like, even in a, a relationship, like, even in my marriage, like, we go through our ups and downs. Like, I can't just get rid of you. I could, like, not be fucking with you at the moment yeah. and vice versa. But... To get rid of and just like just have like, like this it, cold heart, it's not I'm because not, something happened or we're not agreeing on the same thing. I think that's how men are. Like men are just like I'd rather not deal with the emotional part, especially black men. Yeah, I don't think I got a cold heart. Just, I ain't fucking with it right now, man. I'm trying. I might. I already see how my life gonna be. You know, best man, um, <laughs> Quinn. Yes, that's me. I swear to God, it's my life. Did you I, watch the news? I did. Okay. It, but it took me a minute. So Not when, to do spoiler alert, when but I, you know when, what I'm saying? When I get back Quentin's age, it's going to be me calling everybody up. Listen, I'm going to get married. You about Quentin's age, my guy. You're not too far off. So I got some time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be sitting there by the invite like I found love. And then I'm going to cheat on my fiance and give my true love. You know that? Nah, he ain't cheat. He just was like, fuck that. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was like, fuck that shit. He just fuck that shit. But I feel like that's how I'm going to be in. I like, because honestly... I ain't really too big on just family for real like that. So You're I really, not. So I really don't want to start no family. I'm scared to start a family too. Okay, so can we delve deep into that? We can. Why do you not want to start a family? Do you not want children of your own? I do want kids. But you don't want to have a family? I, think that I just kid? want a child. You don't want to create a family atmosphere for that kid? I mean, I will. Okay, so let me just. <laughs> Like, okay. it's crazy, right? This is like, do we need to, where's the sofa? We need to dissect this. It's bad therapy. I really need to, like, we need to dissect this. So you want to have a child, mm-hmm. but is it not, especially as a black child, not beneficial for that child to have a family dynamic? You co parent. That still can be a, a family dynamic. Okay, Just, well, we don't want to do that in our community. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have enough separation and division within our community, why not create an atmosphere where that child can wake up and see mom and dad coexisting, loving one another, right? Mm -hmm. And being in a successful relationship. I mean, it should be like that. But why don't you want that? Me personally, I don't know if I'm ready to really sell out to a, a relationship like that. Or okay. build a bun like that. Sell out. When I mean sell out, not like a bad thing, sell out. When I okay. say sell out, I'm saying like give everything all to it. Like, this is it. Like, this is my family building this. Is this because your heart was broken? No, it's not that. It's because of other examples so. I've seen. But you have to create your own reality and your own world. And you have to know the person that you choose when you're creating that reality That is the world that you guys choose to create together. Like, when me and Scoot got married, I know I didn't want any more children. Yeah. He know he didn't want any more children. Mm -hmm. So we created that dynamic within us because we knew that in this moment in time right now that we are in where we are empty nesters, Mm -hmm. we want to travel. We want to be able to get up and go. We want to be able to, to, to create the life that we want. So I just think that you have to choose a partner 
in which that you can create that family dynamic with. Because I really don't want you to bring a child into this world, a black child into this world, in a, a, a divisive relationship. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. Okay. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. You in school <laughs> give me, like, hope. Like, I was like, I maybe this that. And there's no, because, like, y'all got the content yeah. family. Um, Y'all got y'all thing going on. I'm like, you know what? They young. They got families. They making it work. But I'm like, you yeah, like, ah, it might not work for me. Is it never work? Like, things okay. like that never work for me. But also, know that these relationships that we have come with trials. And mm-hmm. it comes with challenges. So, it's like, yes, we... I, I hear it all the time. People are like, oh, I just love like seeing you and your husband together. You guys do everything. Yes, we do everything together. And that in itself creates its own challenges. We work together at the same job. We work out together. We have the same side business together. Like we work together in every aspect. So we do have to like, love, respect, and appreciate one another in order to do all that. So I just feel like you can I'm capable. That with someone? I'm capable. I just feel like it may not work for me. I feel like it may start off that good, and then it might just go left. It's always going to go left. But then, like sometimes, I'm I'll fight for love. Yeah. But then sometimes you're supposed to. But sometimes, I'm like fuck it. And like, that I, happens. I love what girl is crazy though. <laughs> I love love. I'm just not good at it. Well, I'm not good at like I'm not good at like maintaining. A relationship that's gonna last to probably be Why? Else. Why do you feel like you're not good at maintaining that? Like, what, <laughs> See, what, what is your I'm just not working. <laughs> I'm single now. I'm out with these hoes and hookah. And I don't even smoke hookah. But that is me in, in the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, do we need to broaden your um your 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 atmosphere of the women that you're dating? I think, oh, what's crazy? Not to be like cocky shit, but like, I gotta. Pretty much, most all the women like me, like, no matter what they do, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, or what their style is. Now, some of them are trying to change certain things about me, and that's when I really give you pushback. But we all should be open to change. Sometimes that change should be so. whack, though, like. Okay, like, so example, what are they trying to change about like, you? They be like, um, can't wear sneakers to this event? Don't invite me, type shit. Like, okay, well, yeah, I get that. <laughs> you no, know, it's like, that's, like, but that's just giving an example. But, like, they try to, sometimes I feel like they try to morph me into an idea of what they think a man should be. Which we do. And we I feel do. like that's wrong sometimes. Well, I feel like wrong the majority of the time. Yeah, I can get that in both ways. But men do the same thing. You know, you want an ideal woman. You want the woman to cook, to clean, to blah, blah, blah. And what if she's not able to do that? Or what if she's not doing it at the time? Are you just going to write her off? No, I'm cool not to cook and clean. Okay. But that's the example. Like, as long as you can, you know, as long as... You be, I think it only be about the things about cooking and cleaning and shit like that. Mm-hmm. It's more so being 100% in believing in me and certain things I like to do or right. what I want to do because I feel like I have a lot of off the wall shit I want to do. Mm-hmm. But I do need you to be like, fuck with it, but be like, all right, baby, some wild ass shit, whatever. So I don't really care about My thing ain't even about the whole part about food, cooking, cleaning, the uh, domestic shit. I just want you to really fuck with me. Right. And, and, I, the, and don't try to change to me. Uh, what matters to me then is yeah. so like I got some crazy thing I want to do, or if I got um something I'm trying to achieve. Don't be like that's some bullshit. Like the podcast, right. for example. Right, right, right. I'm like I'm gonna be the next big podcast. I'm like, huh, okay. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Because now, now, like, all right, babe. How how do I need to? <laughs> yeah, I need to. I'm like, I mean, How do I need to do this? Yeah, and I need yeah, you to yeah. be on the team. Like, yeah, fuck, yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna start a hot dog stand. <laughs> Lizzy gang. I need you, like, baby. Lizzie you need some ketchup gang. and some mustard, whatever. Like, all the other shit we can yeah. we can fix because like we can cook, we can learn, like we can do that shit. Like, so, yeah. I eat out anyway. Yeah, and I eat out them too. You know what I'm saying? But no, <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, it's like I don't know. Like, I'm relations. I'm really not even. I ain't need that really experienced relationships like that. My last relationship was my longest relationship ever. But that I was, was years been, ago, too. I know, but that's all. Like, shit, I tried it. Do you date? Yeah, I consistently? date. Consistently? No. <laughs> yeah, I date. No. Not consistently. Okay. Like, I go on dates. I do dates. I just, you know, I have casual sex, whatever. Okay, well, I mean, but, that's healthy. But as far as that, sometimes I go without sex, though, because I'm going to be, I just going to be sometimes. Sometimes it's not about that. I mean, you can masturbate. Yeah, porn hook into it. I got too deep in the rabbit hole one time. I'm gonna pay forty nine. Forty nine? How far did you bro. go? Like, run out oh of my gosh. Like, That's like twenty per page. I'm picky, I'm picky though. Like uh, nah, I thought the further you one. go, the worse it get. Sometimes it do. You might run across the wrong damn thing. I'm that bitch forty nine. Like 
It's too much, bro. I'm not one of the niggas that come I in mean, the, page on the picture. Though. I'm done. Like I could have just gotten my nut off at that nah. point. Like I'm just. Grabbing it take it take it take me more time to find what I like than the goddamn go ahead and, and blow. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So. That's true. That's true. Because it takes gone in sixty seconds. You know what I'm saying? But nah, it's like I don't know, man. They. I ain't really fucked. Like I said, they come back to me and I ain't caring about having a... Well, not caring. I don't even really want to have a family like that for real. Like, well, I would suggest... I need I, that. I need, that's why I brought you here today. Because I need to get to that point where I want to be willing to do that. I haven't reached, I haven't reached that part yet in my life. I should be Expand though, your though. horizons. Expand your reach outside of Birmingham. Like, try to date outside of the States. I'm thinking because... I got trust issues. <laughs> if you live in, if you live in motherfucking Montgomery, I'm gonna thank you fucking every nigga down there. Well, see, if you and ask that's my the thing. Call. You okay? Well, that's <laughs> these are the things you have to deal with. Bad therapist. You need to have your own therapist to deal with these things because I dated long distance and mm-hmm. I moved here off of good faith because mm-hmm. we dated three and a half years long distance. Mm-hmm. I was okay with that because. I was a I was a mom. I was in school. I really didn't have time for like a really consistent, permanent relationship with, yeah. you know, someone who was local. But after that was done, I graduated. As soon as I graduated, he proposed. We moved. I moved, and then I've been here ever since. And I just think that you really have to find somebody who is willing to be on your team. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I think you. Sh- I really think you can. I'm a good like, I'm a good boyfriend though. Like when I'm in the game with it, I'm good though. Like I'm fire. I'm a, I'm the I think goat. so. I think you might like, be a really good I like person love. I'm just not good. And like and no, no Are you no. romantic? Not really. I get better though. Please do. I'm, like, Please do get I'm, better. I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm not romantic, but I'm not as romantic as I should be. Okay, what's your idea I of little, romance? Little, well, that's why Tell I me the most romantic thing you've ever done. I took a uh, took a girl on a helicopter ride across the beach. Oh, that's the cute. Day. Yeah, I be flexing on this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying. <laughs> you didn't actually do it. That wasn't you doing it, but it was a romantic gesture. Like <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so besides that, what else have you done yourself romantically? Not that you paid somebody else to do. I mean, I was on the helicopter. I did that. I got the money you to make it fly. You paid it. Right. But <laughs> I would think something for, like, for me romantic would be like coming home and there's like, because oh, I love flowers. I mean, there's like flowers everywhere, candles. I and it, it don't have to be like the little, you know, things that you see for IG. It could just be, you know, I, I love like sitting on the floor. So if... Mm. If my husband made like this little fort for me on the floor with like we playing games or yeah. something like that, that that's romance to me. That's romance to me. I, Seriously, so I, did some, I just love stuff like that. Okay, I did something like that before, right? Okay, but it was like a bad. I had just fucked up. <laughs> so I had, I had, so you had to make up. So I had when they got like these some, them small candles you get from Dollar Tree, the little and, tea candles. Yeah, and I had to, and, the, and I had lit them hoes up. Like from the from the door to like the downstairs where my den was at, cause it okay. dropped down. Okay. And they had like little bullshit um flower <laughs> bullshit. the uh rose petals, the fake ones. Don't say bullshit. That's not romantic. Yeah, okay. I had to, I had to, oh, you, you had know, the fake ones, the recyclables. You know, yeah, yeah. Okay. I had the recyclable <laughs> rose petals. You feel me? I had the had the dim lighting. Had some motherfucking wine. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. You know what happened? I didn't get up, but that night. <sighs> man. So it went all down the drain. Wait. So you couldn't get up? Couldn't perform. Why? I don't know. It was it. I don't know. Alcohol. It may have been. Did you drink too much? I don't know what happened. It just you know. Oh, so you like, know, I'm not so gonna I lie. Felt, that would hurt my feelings so I, because I'm like, you created this scene and scenario, and then this ambiance, and you can't. Mm. I'm thinking you cheating. Yeah. That was yeah. It was, it was she bad. You was cheating. Yeah. yeah, I bet. So that <laughs> ain't all the romantic <laughs> shit. <bro. laughs> well, don't be romantic and you don't get hard. Like that's. Rule number twelve. I, I had plans <laughs> on being. I had plans on being hard. I did have other plans. So shit. But that was like that was that was romantic as fuck. It just didn't go all the way through. But I ended up getting the next day though. But it's not the same it thing count. though. It, it don't, don't count. count. It was like so. So that's one romantic thing that went oh, terribly wrong. Shout out to you, home girl, because I feel your pain. Because I'm a, I'm a little salty for you. Like. <laughs> I we feel gonna, like I was in that scenario. <laughs> we gonna take I'm a break. Mad now, nah, you gonna get my back. <laughs> we gonna take a break. <laughs> yeah, man, it hurt my pride so bad, man. But you know, we live. We live to try again. 
That next day I went, you know, I did my thing, whatnot. But um, did she appreciate it? It wasn't. The same. I don't think it hit the same. Did she climax? <sighs> Probably not. Probably, Probably not. Probably not. Women don't be coming. <laughs> I, be I was like, I give it to you, but you it know was like some saying? sympathy pussy, like some, some, some mm, come here pussy. Mm, come on, come okay, on. Okay, you try it again. Yeah, but okay, you know, I'll give you know, it to so you. try it again, coochie. But um, so that's it. I'm disappointed in that romantic gesture that you try to present. I was but. very, very unhealthy then, as far as like doing um, recreational. Drugs, <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. coke, no shit like that. I was drinking lean, so it was a lot going on then. So I think that yeah. probably played a part into it. But of course. So that's one. That's some reason. That was one of the few things I did. I'm. I have done romantic acts. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the only one I kind of remember. But like when we first started dating, I do like. I mean, we had an anniversary like every goddamn month. I like well, you know, we do like three month anniversary where we first went out to eat. Yeah, type bullshit. Like cause I knew what I do is this. I try to um, I try to cater to what my woman like. As far as like, That's if she's sweet. um, if she big into being super cheesy, whatever, mm-hmm. I be cheesy. I be cheesy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I say I'm a, I can be a good boyfriend. So you match energy. Yeah, that's what I try to do. So even now, what I learned is this: as far as how relationship goes, mm-hmm. it's not the fact that, like for example, you might tell your husband, "I want to watch this movie." You no, know I'm getting away. He don't want to watch it. At all. It's just that acting him. All right, baby, I'm gonna come watch it with you. Yeah. It's like it's just the fact that you there. Yeah. And so that's one thing I learned early how to start doing. Like you know, let me just match. be present. Yeah, just be present. Yeah. So yeah, I'm good at that, but it's just. I don't know. It just don't never end out well. But then, like, I only you fight. You got to choose your company wisely, you know? You have to know. And I know that men know, just like women know, when we get into relationships, we know what kind of person that person is off rip. Yeah. We kind of ignore some things, and we kind of like, oh, let me see. And that's fine. Like, you can see, like, your judgment may not be the right judgment at yeah. that time, but... When you're in a relationship or you're dating someone and they show you things that you know aren't the things that you're looking for, I think we kind of ignore that. And maybe that's something you need to look into. I be running red flag. I be like running the red. <laughs> the I'm red like, man, flag. I be trying to fix people sometimes. Like, I you do are a not lot. Iyanla, okay? <laughs> you cannot fix nobody's <laughs> life. You are not that. I be trying to like, because I give everybody a fair shot if, when I start Which dating. is true. Like, I, I'm, I'm a big proponent of that like give people the you know the grace or the 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 due diligence to like date them but if you know that's not it then why continue because mm, i'm not a quitter it's some things you need to quit but i feel like then my man i'm a fucked up nigga too because like <laughs> what if i get her what if i gave up on her too too soon and then she get with this another nigga she started doing all the shit i'd have helped her get better at well then, that's I'm like, the relationship that's meant for them. I'm fighting him and her. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no, nah, I didn't build you up to this. You gonna get this nigga this part of you that I help? But yeah. I feel like women feel the same way. Like they build niggas up, and then they're like, well, this nigga went shit when he with me. Now he got a new woman. Now he's doing all the things I wanted him to do. And somebody might feel that way about your relationship with them once you finally meet that person that you're willing to, or oh. that you're receiving. Oh, you this, know what I'm saying? When I do the side get relationship, yeah, oh, they're, gonna, they're be, gonna be mad. They're gonna be huh. they're gonna be big huh. mad. Real Child. Mad. <laughs> Child. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. Cause right now, like you said, I haven't dated in a minute because I'm recharging. Okay. Like I feel like I had to learn yourself though? Hmm? Are you recharging yeah, yourself? Yeah, like I'm I'm trying to build up my emotional intelligence. Are we playing? Are we for I'm dead serious. Okay. Like that. My <laughs> thing is now, I'm not trying to get with nobody I'm not ready to pour into right now. Yeah. So, why well, I'm That's trying That's important. So, right now, I'm really like recharge. I'm trying to realize, like, I need to do certain things. Like you said, be present. Yeah. You I'm, do need to be present. I I'm mean, like, we only have one life to live. And I just really feel like that if you're not present in every single moment, like, tomorrow's not promised. Tomorrow's not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. We yeah. see that. Every single day, getting on social media, seeing whatever, like even in our personal lives, losing people throughout the pandemic, whatever. Tomorrow is not promised. I really just, I am like so intentional about being present with the people that I am around now. And even in my personal life, my family and everything, because I just, I want to just be in like a great space with people so yeah. i just feel like if you're going to give yourself to someone i really feel like you should be present and yeah. they should be present with you 
And that's why I'm, that's why I'm recharging right now. I yeah. really, I'm really taking my time. I feel like I feel like a bad bitch right now. I'm taking my time to get daddy. back on the on the market. You know what I'm saying? He's but now, nah. <laughs> Mr. Baddie, Mr. Baddie, Mr. Baddie. Mr. Baddie. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really like for real. I, don't, I, I ain't in the wasting women time for real. Good. Cause now I get it now. Yeah. I get it when I'm like wasting like when they say waste your time. It's like a for a date, a woman gotta get her hair done. Ooh. She gotta. Uh, Get a figure makeup. done, makeup, all this, and she My taking God. time. They take time of these kids. Cause unlike niggas, y'all actually plan shit y'all gonna do. Okay, so, let, me, let me tell you. You put on this hoodie, jeans, sneakers, ten minutes hat, tops. Ten minutes tops. When my husband asked me to go somewhere, I'm like, is it going to be worth me putting on makeup, <laughs> getting ready, doing my hair? If not, I'm not gonna do it anymore because that shit is a lot. Yeah. And you want me to look good on your arm? Yeah. I mean, granted, yes, naturally, I'm okay, <laughs> but it's like when I want to get ready, I want to get ready and I want to, like, pop out. Like, you know me. I'm not about to have steps. So, yeah, y'all. Mm. So, that's when I'm like, when we're like, um, you know, don't be wasting my time. Yes. So, I'm like, I'm that's not wasting. Time. I'm not wasting your time. Like, because y'all, like yeah. I said, y'all playing dates and stuff. Yeah. Like, I have stuff to do. So, like, now, I didn't got to the point. I, I made reservations. Okay, reservation. You know what I'm saying? You know you what I'm know, saying? That takes some effort. I tell you, you know? I feel like now party of two for seven <laughs> exactly. o'clock. Thank you. <laughs> under under my government last name, so I do that. So like, I'm really like, I'm really learning so much. I want to say turning thirty five, and these last couple of years, I've been really trying to build up doing some real man You're shit. Maturing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you. Uh, you got to do certain things. It's, it's, about, it's more so about effort when it comes to dating. And then you attract a different kind of woman when you do That's that true. kind of stuff, too. Because, like, a certain kind of woman is really going to appreciate you making reservations yeah. instead of just pulling up and be like, let's see, or we going to wait 40 yeah. minutes. And I don't want to wait 40 time. minutes. I could barely sit down in this goddamn dress, <laughs> and then I got to wait 40 minutes, and then I got to eat in it. No, like, I really appreciate you making reservations. And so, so. now, with that, too, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I don't ask... I'm not saying pull up no more. Like I'm, I'm done with the pull up. Like what you trying to do? I'm telling what we're gonna do. Yeah. Like you gonna be doing this today. Like you off today? Okay, I got. We gonna do this. Whatever. You off to a great start in so, 2023. So, Women love that direction for men. I cannot stress it enough. Women love that direction for men. I like. Hold on. We like to be told what to do. Before you get to that point, though. It all comes with bullshit because then I do this and that, then I fade this away. Nigga. Then I fade away. This I, I do the lead and all. I be like, they be like, this nigga doing this. Woo woo. Then I'm like, and I just ghost them sometimes. Why? Cause I feel like it you're too, too comfortable. It gets too serious. But like, is right that now, not the, so what's the intention behind doing what you do? The first date pretty much make my whole decision on everything. Okay, so the first date and you continue to do. The, the the gestures and the reservations and making these things. So when you get comfortable doing that, and then you just disappear because it gets no, it don't get that, it don't get that it don't get that far. Like after that first date, I feel like because all this I'm doing with the um, planning times, whatever, uh-huh. it's like building up to that first date, the meet up, whatever. Okay. If I don't feel that vibe, but she might have a blast, but I'm like, nah, this ain't it. And so I are like, you mature enough to say, hey, like I really enjoyed your company, but. I don't think this is going to work out. No, I'm too pussy to do that right okay, now. Okay, well then, stop being <laughs> pussy. Like, we cannot be leading these women on because... That's the thing. That's the other part of me recharging. That's why they hate you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't want them hating you. I've... I've I got... I'm blocked right now for this one girl. She see? blocked the skin off my shit, bro. But she already um, gave me the... You know what I'm saying? So... But <laughs> just because she gave you some, like... No, I'm like, why you blocked? You, you might keep dealing with my bullshit, man. <laughs> no. We don't want the toxicity. We don't want the toxicity. I tell my son all the time, I'm like, I'd rather you not burn bridges with a woman and a female. Like, if, you, if you're if you not feeling her, say you're not feeling her. Like, I, as women, we respect you more. It might hurt our feelings. I'm not going to lie. It might hurt our feelings, but I would respect you more if you say, hey, look, it's not working out. Yeah. But, you know, hit me up if you want to go out to lunch one time. Or whatever the case is. See, I'm so much of a nice guy, though. No, you're not. You're but ghosting women. I'm, it's like, I'm like a fake good guy. <laughs> like you know, like like a fake good nigga. Like I do all the good shit, but then like I do the pussy ass shit, and I say, well, you know, we had a good time, and I feel like you know this is not gonna work out. I haven't got to that point where I can't. You really, see how easy that was? It just rolled off your. But tongue. then I don't. They be like, I don't know. It feel like I might be shitting on them. I don't like doing that part. It's a, I don't like doing the dirty work. You know, that's life. 
I know. We don't like doing the dirty work. And and this is going to prepare you for your future relationships. If you're able to cut things off with women now in a more mature way, I think that would help you in your relationship when you are able to reach a, a point where you are you're bumping heads instead of running away or ignoring the problem or sweeping it under the rug. You're you're like, hey, look, I don't like when you did X, Y, and Z, and we need to talk about that. Instead of in your mind saying, this bitch done did this, and I don't like this, and blah, 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 and then she doesn't know, yeah. and you're not telling her, but you're in a committed relationship, and now you're bumping heads because you're not properly communicating that. So I'm glad, I really, you, I'm glad really you brought that like part you. up to with bop, bopping heads because I, mm. I was going to ask you, like, how do you deal with um, confrontation being married? or You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I feel like as a man, mm. you're not really good at articulating what's the matter not. with us or what the <laughs> issue is. You know what I'm saying? Like, we either we just yelling <laughs> and it's just, me, it's just us just being, we just saying shit, but not really saying something to get a solution to the problem. Well, I just, I know my partner and I know how he is and he's super non-confrontational. You know him, he's non-confrontational. And sometimes I, I've had to learn not to get overexcited because he's never going to be as overzealous <laughs> or like excited about anything that I bring to him as a confrontation. He's looking more for a solution. Yeah. And if there's no solution, he goes like radio silent. Yeah. And I've had to learn like his silence means that he's that's him processing, yeah. right? So I have to let him process and then I'll process and my processing has I'm a talker, so I want to like we need to get to the nitty-gritty right now and he's not that person. He needs to like let a day or two go by to digest and that's hard for me, but So what's too many days cuz I got a thing too. It's 2 days. Man, let me tell you something. I got nothing. <laughs> two. Day two, we're talking. <laughs> we are about to talk. See, with me, man, I didn't got to the point where I was so frustrated about a situation. Yeah. I didn't talk to her like down to 10 days. Okay, and see, that's, that's toxic and it's problematic, Mr. Donnell. Yeah, it was. Okay, because 10 days, that's a lot of things that can go by. That's a lot of um, gray area. That's a lot of... I don't know if I was we're fed up. together anymore. I was so. fed up. I was at that point like we can go either way. Like I didn't like I loved her, but But you have to talk about those things. Yeah. So you have to talk about why you're not talking, number one. You have to talk about what led you to this this whatever, this distance that you're you're experiencing. And then you have to figure out like, so what's the solution? And then what's the solution going forward? Like, are we going to continue to go 10 days without talking? But sometimes I feel like y'all be asking us what's the solution or trying to get us to talk to, but y'all don't be hearing exactly what the, what we mean about it. Well, that's the, like, the whole point of talking about it. Because sometimes I've been to a point where I have a told said person, like, this is what's bothering me. I really don't like how you do this. And then it, 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 that's be it. And you just go do the shit again. Okay, well, we have <laughs> to understand that we are not perfect. So I've told my husband a, a, a myriad of things that I want from him or that I need from him, and he falls short. So it's like, am I going to get rid of him every time he falls short? No, he's human. He has his own things going on in his yeah. own personal life. So if he forgets to compliment me, I'm – Hello. <laughs> when the last time you told me I was pretty? So it's like you have to remind the people in your life because we have to give each other grace. Like I, I fall short. So it's like when I'm not doing things that he needs me to do and I'm just like, I have to think about damn. Well, so how important is catering to your man to you? Like, oh, it's important because I don't want nobody to do anything for my husband that I cannot do. Cause you know, so how do you feel about these these new young ladies out here that I'm forced to date now? Cause a lot of them have a lot of ways that you know I don't think gonna work with me, but I had to I had to ways? adjust with it. What's the ways not gonna work with you? Um, they all city girls. Yeah, oh, man. They trying it's to be a city girl. One. You know, they trying to. It's like it's more so they are trying to be the new niggas in the relationship. They want to be the bosses, which they are, and they can be, but. I think you have to find that balance between like. You can't tell them shit sometimes. You can't. And like, and like, I'm like, you can't. Like, you man, can't. told this one chick. I don't know who the fuck she thought she was. I had the nerve <laughs> to goddamn say, um, cause she just, uh, what happened was this person got a new position, whatnot, mm -hmm. and she was like, yeah, yeah, 
I was like, okay, I see you got a little something going on. Mm-hmm. But I was like, talking about her like a, a curves, whatever, talking shit like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I could have. I said, you got the little curves going on now. You got your new gear, whatever. <laughs> she was like, yeah, um, I could have upgraded you. She said she could have. Well, see, that's a, that's somebody you don't need to talk like, to. Hold on, bitch. Um, <laughs> I'm doing well. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't, you know, because I'm not a nigga. I'm not a flashy nigga and shit. Right. So I don't put that shit out. But like, I'm I'm, I'm all right now. And I got you good know, benefits. You know, I got good benefits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't be buying the bullshit because I you know what I'm saying. I ain't really into things. So it's like, yeah, I could have upgraded you. Right. I'm like, oh, great. It's me. So I got, and not saying anything because we actually laughed about it. But and I took it to my mind, like, nah, you tripping. But we could have been joking. But some women actually feel like, nigga, I'm upgrading you. These new chicks, oh, they not playing. But I respect it because they getting, they getting money, though. They are getting money. Like, these new women, they getting these bread. They getting they money. Get bread, but they but they, But new, new niggas, but like. <laughs> they, the, they the new niggas. <laughs> but see, the niggas, bro, we like, we carry ourselves different when we have money. Sometimes niggas be corny. Someone be like, when they get that bread, would that like, emasculate you though? Like, if your woman is making more money than you, hell no. Hell no. I'm looking for a woman to get. We go seventy. <laughs> I'm looking for a woman to go seventy twenty. Well, not no, seventy no, no, thirty. No. Well, how about but, the mouth? But okay, so yeah. how does that look? Because <laughs> if your woman is making more money than you, are you still going to be the provider? No, I'm providing. Yes. I'm still providing. Okay. What you provide besides sex? Provide. Okay. Swimming with this shit last week. So providing <laughs> besides sex, um, a safe space for you. I could do that myself. No, you can't. You, yeah, okay. There's enough self care in the world. You, I got a clock, clock. Look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit go, hmm. That's, no, no, no. I'm not talking about the vibrator. I'm talking oh. about that. that oh, that pooey, thing. That thing. No, thing. when I'm saying safe space, I'm talking about where you can feel in your self era. You know, women I love. Be, yeah, but, I, that's but, but what my massage therapist for. <laughs> nah, nah, okay, so what man, else? No. Yeah. No, because it's different. So a massage dude ain't your man, though. That's true. He can't hug me and hold me like that. And it yeah, might so, be a her. So. Yeah, you, can, you know what I'm I saying? I mean, but if you're in So that, when you come fine. home, I'm providing that little space for you. No, you I know? need financially. What do you? Oh, providing? financially. Oh yeah. shit! I can still pay bills. Like just because you make more money than me, I can't okay, take over the crib. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I can still pay the bills. That's that's your bread. Just you know what? I don't find anything wrong with that. Like I I do want a man to be a man and be able to take care of the household bills. Like I'll take care of the trips if we go on a trip. Yeah, you like, take care of the expenses on a trip, but I'll take care of the trip. Yeah, so, like we we can uh, we can figure out something. I, I can, like I'm but, cool. Yeah. Like <laughs> like so like just because you make money, like because the thing about making more money. People look at it like if a woman make more than a nigga, like the nigga doing bad or some shit. No, like absolutely, she could not. be making goddamn a hundred k, and he makes she making ninety five. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so, like, right. she's still getting handled. So people put that shit, that spin on it, and make it sound crazy. So right. like, I'm cool. I make ninety five, she make hundred and five. Shit, it's good. Right. We, we together. I mean, cause we have a good ass time, you know what I'm saying? Same, right. But like, so I'm not one of them guys that get too far bent out of shape because my woman may make more money than me. Because in, okay, in this time, it, that's just what it is. A lot of women get into their bag because y'all kind of more ambitious when it comes to y'all jobs and, and right. careers and shit. Right. Nigga, we kind of yo, so niggas like oh, we kind of we lollygag. They're like, all right, niggas, turn it up a little bit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause I got a hunger now. She on the ball. She trying to be this, this, this. I'm like, look, I'm gonna do that shit next year, but. I don't know. Y'all there, just there might not different. be no next year. Well, that's shit. You know that's what I'm saying? Just... There's, it's just here now, right now. But see, that's y'all. Like that's what y'all do. Y'all be goddamn boom. Yeah. Niggas be like, we find something we like yeah, now. Back. We gonna go attack it, but like some job yeah. shit. Like, bro, all right, fuck it. I guess I'll go ahead and move on. Never start taking the job series yeah. or whatever. We'll, we'll move for a job. <laughs> we'll move for a man. Oh, man. Yeah, so we'll weird. move for a job. We'll move for men. We will we'll move for. It. Pretty much anything to have the experience. And y'all are more willing to dive into shit that y'all yeah. really want to do, though. Because, but like yeah. love. Yeah. Yeah. Like you just said, careers. Men are so just, I don't know why you guys are so apprehensive about diving into the love aspect. Because we don't like being hurt. It hurts. Niggas like, we. You would take a physical pain, but you cannot take emotional you pain. Can't, you can't heal the same way from that shit, man. We be emotionally scarred from bad, like, relationship, like, Oh, do you listen? Think about them R and B songs we were talking about in the R and B videos. Donnell Jones said he'd rather lead in the cheek 
But he also seen a, his old lady on a date. Broke that nigga down. He was outside the window, basically <laughs> sliding down the wall with his razor, <laughs> with his goddamn top hat on. Butch, okay. Mario Wino's crying inside a tub with clothes on. We don't take heartbreak the same. Y'all go get a new nigga. But that's not to say we didn't love and care for you guys. But also, we do have to carry that on our backs, too. Like, y'all emotional, whatever you want to call it. Like, we have to take on the fact that you guys are not going to handle how we treat you guys emotionally. Like, if there was infidelity, mm. men can take, they can give, like, they, they, they'll be like, okay, well, I cheated. Oh, well, my bad. I yeah. fucked up. Well, but out. if it was a woman, we we because. might as well have the scarlet letter on our chest because <laughs> we are like the devil. We are the worst human beings in the world because, because y'all, be, y'all can't get over that infidelity because. Y'all be what, like liking them niggas, though. Exactly. Y'all be liking, like, y'all be you like. Won't do it. I be like liking them insulated. niggas, man. Cause like okay, you, so the what's nigga, the you, difference? There's we don't be like them. There's penetration. It's different. At the end of the day, we're not into her. It's it not built the same. Oh, well, so what's we'll the purpose of doing it? Again. Then what's we the purpose of doing it? Her. We won't think about what's right the purpose of the doing purpose it? Of cheating? Yeah, for a man. A Women is yeah. mainly it's, it's emotional. All be. Look. It's it's really just be sex. Cheating just be sex. Now it happens sometimes when niggas would do cheat when they do want to. When they pretty much checked out the marriage, but they may be so invested into the marriage, so they won't even care if they're checked out already. Yeah. So, at but, the point but, where you but, say that you do it and you kind of care, but it didn't mean anything, what's the difference between a woman doing it and her not caring? And it because not mean y'all be, anything? I don't, I don't think y'all do not care. Like y'all don't really just <laughs> cheat on a nigga and not care. Like with that nigga, like y'all got y'all didn't. Y'all done vetted this nigga out already. <laughs> Y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, please, can I say Go ahead. You would not even let me hit if you didn't give a fuck about me. Mm. I know a couple savages, though. <laughs> you know, women, we are uh, we are able to um, detach emotion from sex. Do we? Some of us do. Not very often. So it depends on that relationship. If she, if she was stepping out, it depends on... Whatever that relationship dynamic that she had before. She was a city girl already. See, in our mind, this is how I go. This is how a nigga thought process go when we feel like y'all, when y'all, we find out y'all cheated. Okay. We feel like y'all been fucking that nigga since the beginning of the relationship. Y'all probably think that we. We think the we, worst. Like, we had a full-blown relationship yeah. the same time as you guys. Oh, we think all the worst shit ever. Then the whole fact of another man like, conquering your woman. I know it sounds crazy, but. It feel like what's the difference between a woman? Cause y'all know niggas ain't shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you say to get my girl to bust it open for you? Yeah, like you. But know. what did she say to get you to penetrate her? She probably say this about like the picture. This about like the picture. It's an emoji. And I'm up. Oh, oh you so handsome. <laughs> That's it. It don't take was... much. It take a thigh rub and, and a sawbuzz cup. I'm in there. Now, why is she thigh rubbing you? You <laughs> she shouldn't even be that, that close. Night, you see that? Hell no. Nah, I don't want shit. Yeah. That's all she said. But a uh, nigga, we can, we can just, we just, I, we just wired different. Not saying it's yeah, not, you guys are, but you know, it's it's not excusable. It's not excuse. It's just that we are. But when y'all cheat, it's like it breaks us down to the core. Everything breaks it, y'all down. When it comes when it to, comes to women, yeah, cause y'all not supposed to do that. Like y'all can't, man, y'all can't do what the fuck we supposed to do. Like, we're like fuck that. It shit hurt like a motherfucker. Like, damn, she did that shit. Yeah, first thing nigga thinking, like, damn, dude, probably wild her ass out. Cause I'm thinking, like, all the freaky shit you do to me, you did to him. Then I think of another nigga, like, I can't trust you no more. Like, y'all, y'all get more. But grace. we're supposed to trust you and allow you back in when you have an indiscretion. But you guys don't allow the same grace like you just said. Because because we stand. That's our that's our deal breaker. We stand on our standard. Of, of, <sighs> so that's the difference between men and women. We say uh, our non negotiable is cheating. We stand on that. Y'all don't want to be letting niggas come back in. <laughs> I mean, that ain't me. <laughs> like we like, we're like, I feel like you with. have to be. We stand a, on that shit. A certain type of individual, but it depends on where you are in your relationship too. But at the same time, it's like you give what you give. I mean, you give what you give. You do give what you give. So if you're giving that kind of energy, you cannot be upset or you cannot be surprised when it 
it it boomerangs back to you. Now I do agree with that. It's how I act. when I'm when I'm out here doing my thing. If I had a little situation with that, if I can't take what I'm dishing out, what I'm doing, I I don't fuck with. But so, then you have to think about why are you doing it. Like what needs are not being met? Man, sometimes all the needs be met. It just niggas just be horny, bro. It don't take shit for niggas to cheat. You, like. you, so you can't <laughs> drive thirty minutes home to get your needs met. You well, sometimes you might not want to. That thirty minutes might be a waste of time because I just going to sleep because you want to give me no ass that night. You don't need to be. Now with nobody. The <laughs> you don't need to be with nobody. <laughs> so if you saying. cannot wait thirty minutes, like what no, happens I'm when saying, you go no, like saying, the I boys' go trips? Exactly. When she goes to, on her girls' trips? No, I'm not saying that's different. I'm saying like. If you say like, what? Can, why I can't wait till I get home to get my needs met? What did I get home and she not gonna meet, <laughs> fix my needs? Like she's not gonna fulfill my needs. She's okay, so good for you. You gotta you pat yourself on the back because you didn't go sleep with somebody else because somebody else was not fulfilling your needs. No, but I'm gonna ask you a question though. You said why? But niggas should be horny. Like I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying none is right. There's masturbation. Man, it's only so. I what about that gawk gawk thing, y'all? Y'all I'm not on buying that? no. <laughs> that gawk gawk. <laughs> do y'all? Do you guys buy like the fake vagina? Thing? Hell no, man. I'm not gonna buy. I mean, I me. okay. No, I say okay. So why do we have to buy it for you? You do you guys buy our sex toys? I'm not buying no dick. Okay, so uh, like, okay, I'm not buying no dick though. That's, that's crazy. Fine. I'll buy rolls though. But we, we don't always have to have. Okay, so a lot of women that I know, um, they climax from clitoral stimulation. So mm-hmm. it's not the the fake penis that gets them off. It's like the rose. It's like the things that that stimulate the clitoris. So it's like, why can't you not buy that? No, I'm not. Own? I'm not against buying that. I buy. Okay. It. I, I'm just not buying no dildo for you. <laughs> so why you won't buy a fake uh, fake pen? Because I'm. Let's, I know what I will. I will look. Check this out, though. I will buy a fake. I'll buy a fake penis. Okay. But it got to be a mold of mine, though. Lord. He's not forgetting. No, he's not forgetting nothing better than me. You the don't fun. want no Doc Johnson. Yeah, you forget Doc Dunn. Well, Twelve inch, Mm-mm. six inch girth. So why you need that much dick? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta experience something. Why you I mean, need? Why you need that much dick, bro? Because. Apparently they're not getting that Man, much dick at home. So well, hey, shit. You, you want them to you, be satisfied? You knew what you had when you bought the package. So <laughs> you know you. So, you know. so shit. I'm forgot. I'm not. I buy like the rolls. I buy the motherfucking whatever they do. I'm just not buying no deal though. Okay. But to ask your question, why we don't buy sex toys? Because it feels strange. Because you see a nigga go in there and buy half a body and be like, "This the booty matic." <laughs> Four thousand? Can I get this? Nigga, like, what the fuck? You finna fuck a damn uh, a plastic butt? Like, it just feels crazy. Like, so, so there, there's and, a different stigma when it comes to men and sex toys. Yeah, cause you look weird. Not King Shane. It just look. It's just. It's not socially accepted for men to really just go out there and buy sex. They buy toys. that little booty with the hole. Yeah, you know, cause yeah. I'm gonna buy a sex toy. I'm buying the sex toy now. I'm gonna buy the. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get the work. Goddamn it! I'm finna go out like a fool. Would you buy a prostitute? Uh, and in the Dominican, well, I, I and say buy a prostitute, but if you, you go to prostitute. if you go to the Dominican Republic, you can buy women for like a hundred and fifty. So will I do it? Maybe. Well, it, it I might like not you do have. it. I haven't Sorry. did it. I haven't been. <laughs> haven't been to DR yet, but um, I don't think I would though. Because one thing, I don't trust no women over. I feel like they may have something. I mean, over here it, too. So I mean, that's, that's anywhere. You know, I'll take my chance of catching something in America than in the, in the, oh, in the DR. But no, I wouldn't buy no prostitute because prostitute sound crazy. Like one on Third Avenue right now? Like, no. You gonna die. No. <laughs> like, a, so now, would I pay for some sex? Like, for, not from a prostitute? I mean, you kind of pay for pay sex, sex when you wine and dine a woman. But, honestly. like, you know, like, it might be a girl I might want to fuck with. Like, look, I don't even want, like, I just pay, like, a little Hulu bill or some shit. Just need Not the Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> like, Not look, the 79, I don't have a ring. Let me, let me smash. <laughs> I, I, I might do I might do that. So, how does that come I about in conversation? That, like, do you offer? Does she ask? I ain't never did it, though. So, I'm, okay. I'm, when I get to that point, I'll let you know. That's only so you're not at the sex. point of tricking. Nah, mm-hmm. not not for no not for no sex. Nah. Uh-uh. Okay. Um, but I'm not. I'm, you not I'm not above it. What's Ask tricking? Trick? What you um, I guess just like doing anything for a woman at her will because you just are so sexually or emotionally bound to her that you just want to do anything and everything for her. That's just um, my definition. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, people. I haven't tricked yet. 
So a woman asks you, oh, I just, I, oh, I want to go on a trip with my girls, and I don't have the money. Have I have I had sex with her first? Like if we had sex, is I I I pay it. I pay for the trip. No. Oh no. So you have to have sex. Yeah. So you, you feel like it has yeah. to be an exchange. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Man. Really. <laughs> It's a joke. It's a joke. Nah. So, what do you think about men who at who do that without I having think sex? The, I think they fucking the game up. I don't think so. Like, the, I'm not paying for no trip, and we haven't did nothing because at this point, it's a transaction. You, you would be so up, surprised at how many women have been <laughs> catered to without having sex with a man. That's their fault. That's like, like, I'm not finna. <laughs> what the fuck I think I'm gonna pay for you go to Tom join the cruise or some shit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, you know what I'm saying? Said, now, I'm buying this trip so we can smash <laughs> in Costa Rica. I'm just saying, well, see, you, my thing, I look at it like this. Just pussy. They just don't want to say what they want them to say. I look at it well, like make this. Make your intentions known. If I'm paying yes. for, if you know I'm paying for a trip, then you know I want something in return. No. That means you're just being nice. Uh, no, nah, ain't that ain't that motherfucking nice? <laughs> <laughs> ain't a, I ain't got that nice bone. But that's just me now. Like I said, they're all guys doing that, and more power to them. But yeah. they the ones out here got women thinking niggas finna do that. Like I'm not doing that without fucking with you or fucking you or you know what I'm saying. Like no, it's no, it's no. I'm not. I, I, uh-uh. I just think it's guys like you who are. Um, the last Messing guy it up for them. Yeah, they, so those <laughs> niggas need to be eradicated, man. They do not need to be eradicated. They are <laughs> treasures. <laughs> they are yeah. treasures in no, the single community. No, okay? no, <laughs> no. Them the niggas. Them the niggas got women talking crazy. Them, no, that, them, that's they building these city girl relationships. Like I fuck with the city girl, but I just can't fuck with them. Like you know what I'm saying? Jumping off a bridge. And but okay, so what? I just don't understand. Like you, you have to have some kind of sexual gratification for a woman if you're going to pay for a trip. Yeah. And yeah, like, yeah, 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 like yeah, That's like it. I mean, it sound it sound nasty, but like yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm just keeping the G. I don't know what other men may today. I don't know women might feel like I'm being a fucking toxic nigga or whatever. But at this point, if I'm paying for trips, you're probably lame. If I can't get but I think that's no so else. whack to say that they are lame because they're trying to get to know someone in a different they're atmosphere not. than what they're Am used I, to. But you say I'm paying for a trip for you to not be with me to go with your homegirls. Like, how is that benefiting me anyway? Because you're getting to know the person. No, 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 you're going on a trip. I ain't getting no, no shit. Not. Okay, well, <laughs> I think, not for nothing, don't take this personally, okay. but I just feel like men who have no problem with spending money don't have that issue. If you got it, then you're tricking. Then if I got to spend money, why? If you have it, you're not tricking. You're I think if tricking. you don't have it, you're tricking because you you're extending you yourself. You're extending yourself if you if you don't have it. So I feel like you're tricking if you don't have it. So what does I pay for this trip and all that? You don't give me no play in the end. Like you go fuck with Willie. The energy could be great. The conversation can be great. I can't the- fuck conversation. I can't build no relationship off of just yeah you can off of that shit yeah you like, can you can build relationship I'm not trying to be your friend I'm not trying to be your friend okay to pay well for then trip. make that intention known when you're having when you're wanting to take a woman out of town just make that known say hey like I I, I really anticipate this being like a romantic sexual experience for okay us. see I like when you so what you just said that's different you said when we when we go out of town. Now that I pay for a trip, like we go, we going together. But I'm not paying for a trip, and you go with your homegirl. You know, well, who said the homegirl coming? That, you said like you pay for a trip. I, you said me, and my homegirls want to go. No, so. no, I never say homegirls. Oh, so no, so no, you no, saying, never homegirls. Like you guys are going together. Oh man, oh okay, yeah, no, no, I never say oh, homegirls. Yeah, I thought you were like paying for the trip, and no. I'm not at the trip. No, 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 oh, well, you no, know, because I that sounds like a date. It is a date. I it's in that. a different atmosphere. Oh, I'm thinking you like you talking no. about. I'm paying for the trip. You're not even there. No. Like I'm not there like at all. That's you have crazy. To be there. There's my trip. I thought that's what you were talking about too, did right? You, did you understand that I was saying like it was? No, if I'm taking you to Costa Rica, we fucking in Costa Rica. No, oh, cool. no you oh, don't have oh, to. Oh, over the oh, over the over the water. Yeah, over the water. We have sex. Like <laughs> anything. <laughs> like, it got to be in the continental oh, yeah. United States. Yeah. No, it got to be no. Sex. Nah, trip but outside of the continental. Oh, just, no, no trip. Good. The trip to hit the Memphis. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I might want a little head. No, I'm saying? no, not the head. <laughs> but, no, but I told you last couple of episodes I was here. I'm not taking you to the basketball game on our first date. If we Why not? 
Because I could have took the bitch that's going to give me what I want at the end of the mm. life. So now, you guys look, don't I, want now, conversation. No, 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 you guys don't want want I, I, dis- I disagree with that. Okay. I'm married, Thank though. you. So look, me personally, I don't mind doing like out of town dates, whatever. Okay. Um, so you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I feel think like that's sexy town, and I think that's romantic. I, said, bas- I could take a that- bitch out of town to Atlanta and spend $60. No, you but can't because gas don't even cost $60 to go out gas of town. Gas is cool, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not. Tripping. <laughs> 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 tripping. I, no. what what I'm saying. I know what you're saying, but look. So look. Gas so like, don't count. It was in there already before I talked but to you. As I'm going like, so she's like, look, they're going to, they go to, the, um, go to a house game or go to a Grizzly game. Yeah. I bet I do that. You know, okay. it's cool for the date. You know what I'm saying? Now, hope we building up to something. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we, we both of those. Yeah. You know what I'm here for. Like, it's relationship, and what kind of relationship is having sex? No, I don't, don't, don't know what you're here for. Unless it's on I the don't side. know what you're here for unless I'm no, have... if I'm telling you, like, I got my attention to be serious with you, I want to have a relationship with you, I'm okay. not here just to be taking but on trips. But she she did all this beauty and all this shit, but when you don't get her none, when she purposely got ready for that night just to give you some. We don't hard, purposely get ready just oh, to give a man up. some. We she get ready for up. ourselves, FYI. Some women get ready just to bust it open that night. Some women say, oh, I'm going to get him some tonight. We done had three Yeah, days. I do that now. now <laughs> but now, sometimes I fall asleep as, as well. So in my, things don't go out as planned in my, in my experience now, in my experience, though, <laughs> if I, anybody I done took on a trip somewhere, mm-hmm. I eventually got, you know, sex. Got the, Got the cooch. Yeah, but like, but at the same time, I'm not that nigga that's overly aggressive for the coochie neither. Yeah, okay. You know well, what I'm saying? Good. So I feel like they feel like, oh, he did it. They they hand it to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, here's some coochie for these efforts. On the platter, man. Yeah, so go. I'm cool with that because at the same time, I like to flex a little bit. Okay. So like, we'll go to the game. So that that would mean they're dif- dif- uh, different. At. Like, I don't mind doing that. But if, if, if he's saying we're going to Costa Rica, oh, sex. Sex, sex, sex. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's um, switch up a little bit, you know. Because we talking about sex, sex, sex. Yeah, you know, man. Because, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing, but it can cloud a lot of shit, too. It, it, you know, it, it does cloud judgment. It, But, you know, I like the way that I <laughs> lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, so I want to switch it up a little bit. You know, yeah. I feel like I'm going to let you be the bad therapist. I'm the good therapist. Well, I, okay, you be the good therapist, yes. and um, because <laughs> I want to ask you some 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 good questions for 2023. Yeah. Okay, bet. Okay, because you know it's a new year, new you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what what are your goals for this year as as it relates to relationships? Because I know we were joking, we were talking about how you do want to have a kid one day, yeah. and I think it's super important for you to have. <laughs> Or at least foundation. attempt to have a foundation of like a, a a solid family. So, what are your goals for achieving that family? Or do you even try? Are you trying to do that this year? Um, this year I think it's my last. Um, it's my last whole, whole year. Whole year. Yeah, okay, it's my last whole year. Go out with a bang. Yeah. So, I'm matter of fact, I want to cut it short. I want to stop it in June. Oh, okay. So why June? I feel like I can bullshit half of the year. Okay. And then be for real for the remainder of the year. Okay, because... And then I don't want to miss the summer. That's true because, you know, I guess when the summer <laughs> tapers off, then you go into the fall and the winter, you yeah. really need to settle down. And... Well, you know what? I'm going to stop at July then. Okay. Because I really don't give a fuck about why August. Why not August? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about August. Fuck August. Okay. We can, we can build in August. Um, Y'all can build in August. Build in August. Okay. <laughs> But nah, the whole like, activity stops in June. You know what it is, man? Because I reading something. <laughs> was I either I reading or I listened to something where they were saying like most men that are similar to me that don't want to do relationships <laughs> it's because okay. we um we afraid to step up to the plate of owning uh, being responsible, be like being a responsible relationship, like taking the accountability. Okay, so stop saying you don't want to be in a relationship. So we're gonna stop putting that energy into the atmosphere because mm. we talked about manifesting things that we want. I think we talked about that off air, but um, if you want to manifest mm. the things that you want, right, we have to have yeah. a positive mindset. So you have to go in saying the things that you want and not the things that you don't want. Okay. So, so if you want a relationship, a healthy relationship, if you want to attract 
a woman that you want to help you build and grow, that's what you need to say. And that's what you need to write down. Because we talked about writing that down too, right? But that wasn't no goal, though. It could Is be a that goal not now. a goal? No, nah, I'm trying to fuck these. Nah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> nah, but uh, for real, no. Like, for I get you. Like, I do. I'm going to keep it 100. Okay. You need love. You want love. I need like love. L- L- I, like, L- I like love. I like love. Yeah. For now, it's just that I really got to take it serious when it comes. I really got to start dating with the intention of making it being something per- right. um, permanent. So, yes, I do want a kid. I know that, you know, it probably won't be the best thing to raise them as a single man, a single in a single household where compared to just doing uh, together. Yeah, together. But just think of the fun you guys can have as a family. With the right person that you're building with, but you have to know who you're choosing, right? Like, you can't go into it knowing that you're choosing someone who does not want to be committed, knowing that you're choosing someone who does not have the same goals or just commitment that you want. Like, nobody is ever going to be 100% of what you want. Like, that's, that's unrealistic. Like my husband, but wouldn't that be settling though? No, I don't think so. That's and not even I don't think so. It's really not settling because when we look at ourselves in the mirror, we're not a hundred percent of who we really want to be, and are we ever going to be a hundred percent of who we really want to be? Like I, myself. I'm like, nigga, this, well, I mean, that's nah, good for you. Real. nah, nah, because there's certain things I will fix. So I'm like, exactly. I'm like ninety five percent everything I want to be though. Well, almost. Yeah, but, almost, but, but not a hundred. But not a hundred. So 100. we can agree on that. We can agree on that. So you, we have to give the person that we're with grace to not be perfect. Yeah. Because we're not perfect. So I can't expect my husband as much as the romantic Fabio, black Fabio that I want him to be. <laughs> He he, not that nigga. <laughs> he really not. But like I told you before, like. His other attributes trump him being, like, the most romantic person. You know what, Miss? You know what? I was talking to Slim the other day. I said, you know what my problem is? I watch... I watch love stories. Like I watch, man. Listen, don't judge me. Come on, I watch Brown Sugar. That's like one of my favorite. And we movies. think it's gonna turn out like, I like that. I like yep. Love Jones. Yeah. But like, I be like, man, I supposed to meet my old lady on some romantic ass yep. shit like this. Go, yep. to, go to the trials and tribulations, and then be like, okay, baby. Now you in love right here, right now. Right. Like my nigga Daryl Love Hall with a guy Neil Long in the rain. That's how I want my life to be. I want to yeah. be. I want to go through some bullshit with my with my lady, and then come out of nowhere and just say the day. I'm I'm so I'm, <laughs> I I love a black rom com. Okay, I love a black rom com, but I know life is not like that, and I have no. to get out of my head when it comes to that because. My husband ain't Tate Diggs. He not about to wine and dine me and romance and me I'm the sure, way that. And I'm fake sure night, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, like I be real on, I be wanting my um relationship to be like a ninety love story or so. Me too. So like, but now I gotta realize it's not. It's a movie. It's a movie. It, it's it's. But I want some to similarities to it. Our though. emotions, but we do want similarities, and we do want somebody to kind of. To match that energy that we want, and yeah. not to, not for nothing, not to say he doesn't match certain energies, but I just think that sometimes we have to get out of out of our heads about what we expect from someone because of what we've seen. That's unrealistic. Yeah. The movies aren't. That's realistic. why it's the movie. It's supposed to be yeah, like yeah. It's supposed it's supposed to play <laughs> out how it's scripted, right? Yeah. Life is unscripted, so. Things are gonna come up, like so. Like I'm willing to, like, be honest. I'm willing to try to be in, in a relationship. You know, it's cool. I f- cause like it gets. I get tired of trying to find new women these days, bro. Like it's a hustle. Being single is like gang day every day. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> so your last relationship, mm-hmm. what was the um, deciding factor for you guys to end that relationship? If you want to share, um. We just can't get back on the on the on the same page with things. Like we, what happened is we broke up, mm-hmm. tried to get back together, and then work. Well, we got back together and try to work things out. But at the same time, she felt like she was walking on eggshells because I might complain about something. She felt like she can't do that, and then I felt like I was on eggshells too because I didn't want to make it 
it was bad. Like it sometimes I feel like when it ends, you may have just had to end it. Mm-hmm. But if you're not ready to put that effort in to make it work, then just leave it alone. But at the same time, like, I wanted it to work, but I just can't. We just couldn't get it together, and it was frustrating. Okay, so you wanted it to work. Yeah. Did for you sure. guys ever say, "Hey, let's get a mediator. Let's go to therapy"? No. That is that part of maturation in your relationship that you need to reach. Well, you need to say, hey, like, if we're not coming to a complete consensus or if we can't agree to disagree or agree to agree and this doesn't mean that much to me, but it means that much to you, so I'm going to relent and let go. So do we need to go to therapy? Because we need to find a common ground and we need to have a mediator, the therapist, <laughs> not you, but official licensed qualified therapist to say, hey, I think these are the tools that you guys need in order to get to this point in your relationship. And I think at this point in your life, you may be at that point. I'm open to like, I'm open to try those things. What I had to realize that I don't have to win the argument. Like I am okay. I'm okay with, I'm okay with, um, do you want to be happy? Or do you want to win? Right. I'm okay with just let's just be fucking happy, bro. That's why I, I say but agree see, then, to disagree. Yeah, like, so we can okay if if this is how you truly feel. <laughs> he he cracking up because he's a married man and he understands the the dilemma and the trauma that we yeah. have to go through. You just gotta let that shit go. Some some some, some battles are not yours to win, and some it, and it's not about winning or losing. It's about how do we get to a resolve. Yeah. Be, just so wait we for can the, I be. Told you so. <laughs> no, and, and it's not even about a, I told you so because if you're in a relationship that is about progression, it's not going to be about I told you so. It's about I would say, um, okay, so can you just pay attention to what I told you because of mm. this? Like this is the outcome. So if I've said this over and over again, and we know this is the outcome, just listen to me. Like yeah. it's not a I told you so. It's not about being braggadocious, right? It's about um, just, like, listen. Like, it's not about winning an argument. It's yeah. about... Recognizing the trauma that another may have had. It's not even... It's just about respecting me and my yeah. and my views. And the I can trauma. respect you and your views. So, my problem in the past... Is that why I said I was recharging? Because yeah. my problem in the past, I was trying to make... Force my view on her... To make us see things my way, like if you don't see it my way, then it's yeah. over with. Like, like we can't be on the same dismiss, page, and you yeah. can't do that. You, you can't, can't dismiss do that. Somebody because of that, because nobody is always going to see things your way. Like I, 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 I'm guilty. Like I've been through that, and I know my husband has been through that. Like we want each other to see, yeah, the way we see things, but our experiences are different. Yeah. So because our experiences are different, I'm not going to see things the way he sees them. Yeah. And vice versa. So I have to respect the way that he thinks and feels because it's not my natural way of thinking and feeling. Yeah. I still have to I have to do that for him and I and I think he does that for me too. So and so that's and what, I think that that's what is gonna help you in your future. And that's so that's why I like I just man, let me just and then they said women will never, 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 never see it your way. And vice versa. And you know what's crazy? And vice She's versa. Right, I'm, and at this point now, man, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. So my thing, for real, for real, like why I don't want to have like a, why I wasn't trying to have a relationship, just have a kid because mm-hmm. I do want to build something up and it don't work. It lets you down. And yeah, that's yeah. my thing. I hate, I hate yeah. being like that because when I'm into a relationship, I'm 100% <laughs> into it. Like, I'm all about it. Well, dear, let me tell you something. Being a parent is not even that much different because your children will let you down. But I made that. That's me. Yeah. And exact, <laughs> even more of a reason for you to feel hurt and upset and disappointed because sometimes the things they do will let you down. Yeah. And, you know, as much as you instill in them your your beliefs, your your passions, they're their own individuals, just like the person who you decide to create a life with yeah. is an own their own individual. You can never control someone else's thoughts and actions. Yeah. So I'm just saying, whether it's a child or whether it's a partner, you cannot control that person. So you have to meet that person where they are. 
Yeah, and I'm and like at this point now, I feel like you know if I was to spin the block and get back, like <laughs> I, I think she would appreciate me now way more than the yeah. the older me. I mean the old me. So we gonna we not gonna talk about the the woman that we that yeah. we, you're manifesting. But now so until the, we until until she manifests. Now nah, <laughs> I got options, <laughs> but, but you know, but it's crazy. The people that I want, they don't meet. They don't meet what I really want. Yeah. Like, I meet women all the time that I could date, but they don't meet the what I want as far as being my wife. So that's why when I do the little things, like do the date, set the reservation, get all that shit going, mm -hmm. that's actually me practicing for my future, my real wife. But I be hoping at the same time that this could blossom to something, but they might do the small thing that be like, nah, this ain't going to work. Okay, everybody going to do the small thing. I'm telling you. It's and just. I don't want to waste my time. Neither though. Like, oh, what is small things turns to a big thing? Okay, well, that's something that you need to figure out. Yeah. And you need to, like, kind of digest and kind of figure out, like, what is the small thing that's going to tip me off the edge to not want to be with someone? Or what is the small thing that's going to tip me off the edge to just, like, not mess with you for a few hours? Yeah. So, like. There are plenty of things my husband does that get <laughs> on my motherfucking nerve. Get on my motherfucking... Is this the camera? Get on my motherfucking <laughs> nerve, okay? So, do I get rid of him because he likes to keep 12 bottles, water bottles on his nightstand and don't get rid of them? Or if he <laughs> likes to dump his clothes on his side of the bed? That's or just nigga shit. Exactly. <laughs> but as, as a woman and as someone who is a little borderline OCD, that gets on my nerve. Am I going to get rid of him for that? No, sorry. I'm not going to get rid of him for that. But it, it bothers me and it bothers my soul because it's just not who I am. <laughs> so you just have to figure out, like, where's the balance? Like, really, where's the balance? And I, I just I, I can't get rid of him for that. So I, I love him. Or his other attributes. So yeah. I think you really need to. You are more like us as women. I'm not gonna lie. You're. I think you're really in touch with your feminine side. Oh, wait a minute it. now. <laughs> oh, I think you're in touch with your feminine side, and you don't know it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Maybe because you're very particular. Men are really that particular. I'm particular as fuck. Yeah, though, bro. especially when it comes to well, no, y'all are very particular when it comes to emotions. So I am. I admit, I am. I do shit. Yeah. <laughs> I do Man, y'all need to learn how to um, control that though, and not regulate it where it it doesn't taint you from dismissing everybody who comes into your path. You no, know, it, it don't even trickle down just relation. It's just that's how I am with life. Period, though. Like, cause I done had people do some dirty shit to me, so like I don't give so much. It's like I I don't give people that many chance to fuck it up. So that's why I'm particular about it. So I don't think it's so much about me being in touch with the feminine side. It's more so like I ain't going for too much no more bullshit because I didn't see how that shit build up. And so like, so my life experience of trickle downs to my relationships are like, I kind of, I probably shouldn't be like that. Yeah. But I always feel like, you know, this one thing could be something else. But not for nothing. How much of that fault lies on you and who you pick that, and who you know is not worthy of being in your life or who you know is not worthy of your energy but you still put energy into yeah that i mean you know it goes both ways now it does. so that's that's part of me like yeah. let me sit back and just as realize. a 35 year old man you have discernment so you know yeah, it's, who, it's kicking in now you know and i didn't have from 30 from 31 <laughs> to 33 now so next time i turn 35 like it come a little late like, for okay. the men but so you like, know because yeah, at one point i was just you know i'm just out here just going crazy yeah. but like I didn't want to, I don't know, man, but now, like, I just want some, I want some real shit. I do want some real shit now. I want real, real love and relationship for you. So I'm, I'm going to <laughs> hope that for you. And I hope you manifest that for I'm you in manifest. 2023. So look, next year, right at the time, I'm going to have a whole you know baby saying? mama. And no, we'll be shacking up, baby. baby mama. We, baby mama drama, shacking <sighs> up in the crib, in no. the one bedroom, living lavish. No, because that baby going to be stressed. Nah, that baby don't have no own room in the one bedroom. You got an air bed. <laughs> <laughs> Not an air bed. Air mattress is a cradle. <laughs> that, that is not good but, for a, a, a newborn. Nah, but for real, I think I'm going I'm to actually give a, a real effort. You should. Um, give it a try. I mean, you have, how many how many um chances you have on this planet that you know of? Okay, well, that, what's, what's, 
What's the harm in taking the risk? They're going to hate my, uh, my little homegirls. Okay, too. well, what's the harm in taking the risk? Like, That's their issue. You got to get rid of your homegirls. Uh, no, <laughs> you don't, unless you've had sexual relationships nah, with him. Yeah. Okay, well, then I don't feel a reason. Like I got I'm, a lot of friends, though. I've never asked my, my husband to get rid of his home. Well, the one homegirl that I know of that him and all his friends have that I just never, I never asked him to do that. Like, that's, that's your friend. Yeah. If you hadn't had a sexual relationship with her, I don't expect yeah, you to I provide her. guidance for my friends. Oh, Lord Jesus. What like, kind of I'm guidance? Like, I'm actually a good person, man. What I kind be of telling guidance them, like, do don't do, like, I be like, look, you know what I'm saying? From the man perspective. <laughs> I mean, don't I'm mess not, with that nigga. Yeah, like, they be like, uh, you know, the man friend gets straight to the point. I'm yeah. that nigga. Okay. All right, well, I mean, you. yeah, I, I think that's so healthy. Like, I don't really feel like the the partner relationship should be just the partner relationship. You yeah. definitely should have other friends outside of your relationship. No, I got homeboys. My, all my homeboys older than me now. They've been, they're most of my homeboys back at home. That's good. So, like, you need some older homeboys. Niggas, like, I'm like the homeboy now, like, DJ, my nickname DJ. No, DJ be right side with them hoes. <laughs> so I'm the single are they friend. Married? Oh, yeah, I'm the okay, single friend. Well, then, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I be chilling though. So everybody they, at home when you marry. <laughs> exactly. So I be like, damn, so I can't be with my homies too much. Cause it's like, bro, come hang out. I'm like, nah, you can't go hang out with these. Cause they want you, they want you to do the mature things. <laughs> so and so I don't go to no events where they do couples and shit. Why? No. Cause I be that might be the event that you need to be at. I be bringing different ones. Like, damn. Like when I go to Atlanta, my homeboy and girl well, be like, them. <laughs> when I go to Atlanta, my homeboy and girl be like, damn, he always got somebody else different when he come. That's my You're business. You're a single though. man though, so that's your business. Yeah, but yeah. Other than that though, so yeah, so love. What else? What else I want, Grace? Tell me some more. 2023. What else do you want in 2023? So let's not do the children without a partner if we can help it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are your financial goals in 2023? I want to touch six figures this year. Sounds good. I think it's attainable too. It really is. I think is. it really, you know. Um, Without telling the people too much about your your um, <laughs> your path to six figures, yeah, I got, I got you ideas. got plans in place. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna start pouring more into the pot. Okay. And try to make it more so like a, a business and entertainment. So, um, are you gonna revamp? Are you gonna? I don't think about okay. the revamp. Yeah, it's just gonna be the. It's not gonna be a podcast. No, it's just gonna be a show. It's a talk show. Yeah, you know where the saying? cue cards? Do we invest, have cue cards? We're gonna invest in cue cards. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do we have um, games? We might I think do games would be fun. I, I think I'll do a live show. Okay. I might do a live show this year. You and, should. Um, we have any venues that okay. we're thinking about? Um, Content Factory. Okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Content Start. Factory. <laughs> no, nah, but like financially, I do. I do want to. Um, just I want to save. I want to. Um, make a lot of fucking money. Yeah. Uh, I want to get paid off my talent as being a media person. Cause I feel like I'm a media person now. No matter how small the scale is, I feel like I need to be. Uh, what the word I want to use? Compensated for these talents. Yes. So. Uh, <laughs> well, social media is not the scale because I, I know a lot of people think social media is the scale, but I've seen. And I know of plenty of people who are on social media who are extremely successful, mm -hmm. but they don't have the the following, right? Yeah. Like, I think people feel like if you have the following, then you have the success, but that's definitely not true. It helps because, it, you know, it gets people to look at you, but yeah. I really feel like if you're authentic, if you are putting out that content, then people are going to gravitate to it. So, Yeah. That's for like fun, cause like I'm really not a money hungry person, but like I just want to make a lot of money though. Well, I'm hungry for some money for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not money hungry, but I'm hungry for some money. Like, I definitely want to make a. I want to make a good little bit of money. So I make, yeah. yeah, I want to do some things. Okay, so we're gonna get the love life together. We're gonna get the financial life together. So tell me one more goal that you have for 2023. 2023, um, travel. I do want now. I'm saving my time up because I okay. ain't been going nowhere because nigga been called no. But I, was, I was big on travel. <laughs> you like, better save these, that lead. These last two years, you better my, get that credit. I ain't been going nowhere these last two years. But me either. But before then, now would be out this bit. So yeah, I do want to travel. Yeah, I want to go to New York. I want to make a connection in New York. I got people I, I know from social Have you media. Been? Never been to New York. Okay, let me tell you something. I've been in New York a few times, and that's a trip. That you have to take in multiple stages. Like New yeah. York, there is so much to consume and yeah. so little time. Like 
I think I spent like four days in New York one time. It still didn't get to do everything. Rode the subways with me and my homegirls. We got lost. We got, it was just. It's the best experience. Yeah, oh, so, man, it's so good. I want to do, because I, like I said, I got people I want to meet that I know the social media. Yeah. That I want to connect with first with the pod, too. And do that. Set up an event. So, uh, oh, event. You should. Set up an event. We're going to see. Make the content factor a part of it. <laughs> Fact, we can And then everybody out. can fly out to New York, have a good old time. <laughs> we can work something Make out. Make it a family trip. I need to go down there solo first so I can build these goddamn, uh, <laughs> plant these seeds first. Said New York. Yeah. yeah. Like, that <laughs> shit, yeah. So travel. Um, I spent on that shit. Help. I'm back in the gym. Good. Back in the gym. You look um, a little slim, slim, you know slim, little slim, you slim. Know I ain't gonna drop a good pin. You know what I'm <laughs> uh, So I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to just be healthy, man. Cause yeah. I seen a lot of people, people dying of cardiac arrest and you saw the guy like 31. Um, he was like the American Idol, like yeah, I um, seen that. Yeah. I, pfft. Why did I call a cardiologist like the day after when I saw that? Because I was like, you know what? I don't know what's going on. I just want to make sure that my health is in good exactly. standing. So if we got good insurance, so yeah. guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call a cardiologist and I made an appointment. Yeah, because I'm definitely I'm big on I'm big on healthy. So I, I didn't cut yeah. some things out. Now yesterday I wild the fuck out. Like this week though, if you see my Instagram <laughs> story, don't listen to the fuck I'm saying because I'm doing all the negative bash. I'm taking shots. Because I might even do a look at this, coke. you guys. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this is all him, and this is like half a bottle gone already. Okay, but right it's why use the tequila. Okay, yeah. So, uh, if it was tequila, the whole bottle would have been. On. Yeah, facts. <laughs> so I'm switching that up. Um, but I'm just man, health as well. So I want to oh, feed. <laughs> yeah, I want to feed the homeless this year too. Okay, so when you do that, let me know. I've been hitting up people because before I moved here, which was a while ago, I used to be um, uh, a medical advocate for rape victims, mm. and that was like so fulfilling. Like it's sad, but anytime someone would get raped. If I was on call, they would call me and I would have to be with that person oh, and like just counsel them or yeah. just be just just be their um, their 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 safety yeah. while they're there and while they have to get examined or, or whatever. So I love doing that. And I I had not been able to find like a really satisfying. um, What is it? What do you want to call it? Um, it's. um. <laughs> call it not feeling say no. feeling uh, just, a, 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 just something to do like to help anybody out out there yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what it's uh, called, we, what it's we, called. We, we gonna, you gonna, when you get in the car you're gonna realize what the fuck it was I know. <laughs> uh, no nah. <laughs> Fuck it. If, if a people out there watching, y'all know what we're talking, talking about. It's uh, a volunteering service. Yeah, like, just something. The volunteer. Act of service. Yeah. So I've always wanted to do that, but I've hadn't found anything here. I think I did the Jimmy Hell mission a few times, and it was satisfying, but it just really wasn't. I um, I yeah. mean, I'm just passing out food, putting. It, it didn't do nothing for me. So if you do that, let me know. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. Yeah. So let me ask you this: As being a married woman, <sighs> you you kind of you figured it out. No. You figured no, because a lot of bitches okay. lost <laughs> women. A lot of women are lost. Yes, women, so thank what you. what would you like? What kind of advice would you give these single women that's trying to find? Uh, I can say love to try because that's part of love. Like trying to yeah. get into a relationship that can build into marriage. Like because they they want a lot of things. Know that you want and, it. Know that you want it. If you do not want a relationship, if you do not want marriage, if you do not want to spend the rest of your life with one individual, don't do it. That's what I would say. I tell my son this as well because it's really hard to be with one person and their their attributes for a long time. Yeah. And it's like, do you want to, is this person going to grow with you? Yeah. Is this person going to change with you? Is this person going to recognize that there is change within you? And are they going to accept that? So you really have to know who you are. You have to know who they are. And you have to know what you want. So if that's not what you want, and if a person is not willing to change with you, then don't do it. I'm okay with that. Like, 
I was such a proponent of like, oh, everybody should get married. Everybody should have kids. <laughs> don't have no fucking kids if you don't want to have no motherfucking kids. Because guess what? That's just like a relationship. It's emotionally draining. It's physically, mm. financially draining. Don't do it. So when you say you want to have a kid, that's why I'm like, at least try to have it in an atmosphere where you are with the person because I think it it, it just provides that much more stability for the kid. Yeah. Even if it's not something that works out, if they know the parents are loving and still do things with each other after the fact, yeah. if they don't if they're not together, then I think that's a good thing. But women, if you are men, if you don't <laughs> want to be with anyone, don't be with anyone. Man, it's and I'm gonna just say this fellas, women do the work. Do the work. Yes. Do the work, man. Do the work. It's necessary. Um, as a person of multiple failed relationships and, <laughs> and uh, situationships. Me too. It's Everybody. Because, <laughs> it's because either I wasn't doing the work or it just wasn't meant to be. But do the work. Um, we but that's it. a good point, though. Like, you do the work, and if it's not meant to be, it's just not meant to be. It's but that be. doesn't mean that the effort that you put in – isn't valued, isn't appreciated. Because I think that people feel like because you're not with someone that it ended on a bad note. Yeah. That, that That's not necessarily true. Like, we can say that, okay, well, we tried. Yeah. It didn't work. Yeah. Still appreciate you, still love you. I really wish people would do that more often, but they don't. <laughs> but, you know, if you don't want to be with someone, then it's okay to sever ties. And yeah, if you want to... To make it work, it's okay to fight to make it work. And when I say just fight, I don't mean physically, but yeah, you know, just don't fight too much. Don't be like uh, mm-hmm. knock out, drag out. You know, sometimes mm-hmm. you gotta let it go. Don't be like uh, <laughs> what's uh, what's the name of um, baby boy? Don't be like the blue face and, uh, oh, and the tooth fairy. Oh Lord Jesus, Christian Rock. not the tooth fairy. <laughs> <And> she <laughs> still didn't get that tooth fixed. She's not gonna get it fixed, bro. Oh baby, hey, we finna, y'all pray for them, please. <laughs> we about to wrap it up, man. I, you enjoyed the episode. I, I like really this. enjoyed it. I feel like the auntie episode. I need it. <laughs> I need <laughs> the it. auntie episode. I need this episode, man. <laughs> y'all just call me Auntie Grace. Auntie Grace in yes. the building, man. You know where to find me at, man. For the people who that stuck around long enough to listen to this good, meaningful conversation. You know what I'm saying, you know, <laughs> you can find me at hustle underscore port on Instagram. You can find me on. <laughs> My podcast page, <laughs> or the, the underscore bad therapist. You got to look at it and see yeah, what it I is. Yeah, I still don't know this shit. <laughs> Going on goddamn three years. Don't be remembering shit. You and know, you guys, be- if you want to hit me up, you can find me at Grace Space with two underscores. Or if you need any photography or video I can feed me, you can hit me up at Will and Grace Media. And guess what, guys? We appreciate y'all for staying and kicking it with us for another episode of Bad Therapy with the Bad Therapist. We miss you, Slim. Slim, yes, back on the block. <laughs> and you know, we out. Peace. Bye.